I said, let's go put the bear in Central Park and we'll make it look like he got hit by a bike. <laughs> <laughs> Independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. posted this video to his own ex account Sunday night. It shows him telling comedian Roseanne Barr how he dumped the body of a bear cub in Central Park back in 2014. It made major headlines, including here on PIX11, as no one knew how a bear got to Central Park. PIX11's Ayanna Harry live in Central Park with the very latest on this mystery. I turned on the TV and there was like a mile of yellow tape and there were 20 cop cars. <laughs> There were helicopters flying over it, and I was like, oh my God, what did I do? The video post is RFK Jr.'s attempt to get ahead of a story published in The New Yorker. He says it started when he saw a bear get hit by a minivan in the Hudson Valley. So I pulled over and I picked up the bear and put him in the back of my van because I was going to skin the bear, and it was very good condition, and I was going to and put the meat in my refrigerator. After a day of hunting followed by a long dinner at Peter Luger's Steakhouse, RFK Jr. says he did not have time to drop the dead bear off at his Westchester home, so he decided to dump it. I wasn't drinking, of course, but people were drinking with me who thought this was a good idea. Criminal defense attorney Jeremy Saland does not predict charges in this case. But it's generally speaking two-year statute of limitations on a misdemeanor and generally speaking five years on a felony. While stupidity is something that is a trillion-dollar industry, it's not necessarily a crime or criminal. I didn't want to leave the bear in the car because um, that would have been bad. Regardless of how it plays out legally, there could be political fallout for RFK Jr. And this might have been the person they heard about Kennedy in the last six months. And that's not where you want to be if you're trying to run this sort of insurgency campaign.